and welcome to Learning from Leaders. This is your host, Patrick Dewar. My guest today, John Davis of ArboristMarketing.com and uh, the sponsor of today's show. I have to admit, I'm really thankful for today's show and you'll love it because I brought in a specialist, not just in marketing, not just in business growth, but someone who has a, been able to develop or grow any company that he's worked with in the in the arborist arena, in the tree care industry, in a, in a pretty massive way. And I wanted to bring him in because you've got someone that has uh, created great and terrific growth for, um, for that industry. And um, I'm, I'm really thankful for it. I've known John Davis for a number of years. And, I'm, and we've been in uh, uh, mar uh, mastermind groups together. We've worked together in different capacities. And I've always watched how he has been a massive student of not only his trade, but the industry that he really understands is the real business that we're about. Now, if you're in a, a service industry or you're in a business of any type, you will grow from listening to John Davis. So with that, John, thank you so much for being on the air. Glad to be here. Well, today I want to get right into um, really your story. I want to. Uh, so, would you tell us a little bit about how you got into tree care? Yeah, uh, really, like most people get into business, uh, you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be in a, a business uh, for yourself, and so you you learn the industry, you learn the technical part of it, uh, and which you should. And so you spend your time, you spend your effort, uh, becoming the best at what you do. Okay. And so long uh, after four or five years in business, I found uh, not only was that necessary, but there, there, there's a problem. The phone doesn't ring, doesn't, doesn't matter how good you are. And so I hit that ceiling uh, that uh, most people in our industry was hitting, uh, $250,000, dollars $325,000 a year, uh, not making much, working a lot of hours. And uh, so I knew from my past experience with being with McDonald's Corporation and everything that uh, something was wrong here, you know. I'm good, they ain't coming. And uh, built the best rat trap, you've heard that story, and they, they wasn't beating a, a path to my door. And so uh, I went out in search of uh, marketing or some way to get people to, to call and so I could let them know how good we were. Found in our industry there wasn't any, or, or very little of it. So I began to get into other industries and, and uh, began to uh, create swap files and stuff of how they were doing it. Uh, and to make a, a long story a little shorter, is uh, uh, met people in marketing uh, that uh, that's what they taught. J. Abraham, Dan Kennedy, these guys. Uh, so began to uh, put some money and effort into that and began to get results and began to get taught a uh, thing called emotional direct response marketing. Uh, and so couldn't do it how the big guys were doing it. Didn't have the money the big guys had. Uh, so, out of all of that, uh, got, a, got a, a mindset change, and that is that I uh, was not a, a provider of tree services uh, and, and landscape services. I was, I need to be a marketer of a tree service or tree services or tree care. When that mindset, which took me a little while, it's not over an ideal, uh, once I did that, things changed, and, and things changed in a rapid way. Uh, uh, tripling sales in about three years, or a little under three years, uh, quadrupling profits, uh, end up times five in five years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we took a, uh, a small uh, fledging tree service firm that was basically like everybody else's, you know, same old, same old, same old, uh, name, rank, and serial number, uh, and uh, created a multi million dollar business out of it, you know. With, and, and I'm bragging here, I don't brag, just fact, is uh, uh, with me not uh, heavily involved in it. And so, uh, I was able then to do more on outside the box, working on the entity <clears throat> and not inside of it. And so it got to be fun. Uh, I got to do a lot of things that I, that I, that I wanted to do and, uh, and put more effort into marketing. Now, your experience, of you're, you're really the, the, uh, the thing that flipped the switch, it seems to be, and looking back on it, and setting you free from your own business was an accident, wasn't it? That's right. What happened in 1995 is uh, I'd, I'd created these systems, put them in the business. I had faith in them, and, and they started to give me more time off, more time to do stuff, but I was still 
somewhat involved in the business. Uh, I was still there. I was afraid to let go. I mean, I was afraid to do it. I had to sell every job. I had to be on every, you know. Uh, and, and so I was bringing salespeople in. Uh, Michael Gerber, people's heard of him. Uh, and uh, uh, I began to put his systems in the business. So I had, the, I had systems in the business, but I was afraid to let them run on autopilot. Had a major car wreck in uh, November the, uh, the uh, 12th, I believe it was, of 1995. <clears throat> was uh, knocked unconscious in the hospital for three days uh, before I ever came to. A uh, very major accident, uh, you know, crushed leg, uh, broke pelvis, uh, crushed head, all, everything was broke. A very important thing happened, and that is when, when, you, when I finally came to and I finally began to look around, you know, what's, what's going on, my first thought was the business, you know, what, what happened? Well, lo and behold, I found the business doing very, fine, very, very well. Uh, they didn't really need me. Uh, the systems that I had put in the business, they were, they were simply using. Uh, and uh, I would try to involve myself some. You know, they, they'd be kind to me. I'm not saying I didn't have to do some things, and, but they would begin to just send me summaries over the hospital, and I, I was out for about a year, uh, a little over a year, really, in a wheelchair most of that time, full body cast, everything else. Uh, couldn't go, uh, couldn't get up there, wanted to. But not only did we, uh, uh, the business do fine, the business increased in sales. We, we, we stayed on board and better, than what we did with me involved in it, so that was a, that was a, that was a takeaway. That that was when everything changed tremendously in my life. Uh, when I, when I found that systems do work, and uh, and and you do need to be a marketer of your business, and you you do need to be outside of it. You know, uh, like uh, Michael Gerber says, you need to get where you could call the office uh, and say, "I won't be back for thirty days." Uh, and you won't hear from me. Well, I'm there, and I'm not bragging, but through these systems, we're there. So you, you actually took a year off. <laughs> not not, not it, voluntarily. But voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's say that was one act of providence that you really wish had not happened, and right. yet it broke the chain. It, it was a good thing, really. And I know we're going to take a break here in a second, and I want to make sure that you guys get the value of what John has said. He's literally developed systems that produced massive growth in his business in a way that that you will grow and benefit from. If you're in a service business, if you own your own business, you want to be back after the break so you can hear more about how John Davis and ArboristMarketing.com can make a huge difference in your life too. We'll be right back. 